Hello everyone and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. I have a very big frog to eat today and cleaning the inside of the grill is a messy job and I've been putting it off for much too long now and we've had this grill for three years now and I think we cleaned out the inside at the end of the first year but I don't think it's been cleaned since <laughs> and by we I don't mean me and because this is such a messy job I want to contain the mess as much as possible so I want to scrape off as much of the grease gunk as I can so that I can push everything to the bottom of the grill and collect everything in the drip tray. Once I've collected all those loose bits into the drip tray, I can toss them in the trash instead of spreading them all over the yard. And scraping off all the excess gunk helps the cleaning products work better because there's less grime to have to work through. And one of the biggest reasons that I've been putting off this task is because I'm not entirely sure how to properly clean out the grill. And because I don't clean it often enough, it's reached a point where it will be very difficult to get it clean again. So once I had everything torn apart, I saturated the inside of the grill and all of the parts with a degreaser and then I worked it in with a wire brush and let it set so it would have time to loosen up some of the baked on grease. I gave the degreaser some time to work and then I used the pressure washer to rinse everything off and I'm not sure how clean that I can get this grill but I'm not expecting it to look brand new again. Heat and other elements will cause the metals to discolor over time so my goal is just to get as much of the greasy gunk off as I can today and then I need to start a regular maintenance schedule so that it's not this bad the next time. The degreaser and the pressure washer removed about 90% of the grime and I almost stopped and put everything back together and then I decided to use oven cleaner this time. Oven cleaner may not be the best choice for every grill so always read your owner's manuals before using any cleaning products and always follow the directions on the label and I had to put all the parts back together so that I could heat them up before I applied the cleaner and then I coated everything except for the gas burners. And 
I ran out of oven cleaner and I probably should have left the cleaner to dwell longer, but it still did a pretty good job overall. And I used a pressure washer to rinse off all the oven cleaner. And it's important to rinse away any cleaning products that you use on a grill. And it's also a good idea to light the grill to burn off any remaining chemical residues before you use it to cook food. I know that you are having a hard time right now That everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to Trust into us and we will help. We bought our last grill secondhand and there was nothing that I liked about it. The grill that we had before this one was much less expensive, but the performance was so bad that I didn't even like using it. And the igniter never worked and the igniter replacements never worked. And I had to use a lighter every time I needed to light the grill. So when it started falling apart and I started searching for a new grill, this one popped up. And so far it's been worth every penny, but it's an investment, so I need to try and take care of it. I definitely need to work out a better cleaning system for this grill, but I'm happy with the progress that I made today. And I was a little disappointed that the grates didn't come completely clean, but it was still a big improvement and hopefully next time I can get them a little bit cleaner. And I used a pressure washer to completely rinse the entire grill inside and out. And then I used a chamois cloth to dry everything off. What is best for you? Once the grill was all dried off, I used a stainless steel polish to protect the finish. And the stainless steel polish is an oily substance and can clog up the microfiber. So I'm just using a cotton cloth instead of a microfiber to work in the polish. Trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best What's best for you For you What is best for you And by the time I finished cleaning up the grill, it was too hot to finish up the rest of the little projects that I wanted to do. So I started again the following day. But first I had a few things that I needed to take care of inside. And I start most days by transferring a load of laundry over to the dryer. And while I transfer the clothes over to the dryer, I pull out anything that needs to air dry so that I can hang it up. I would be waiting for you if you had to leave. Tumbling clothes around in the dryer can wear them out much faster and the heat can shrink certain fabrics and it fades colors faster so I always use a low heat setting and I hang up anything that I don't want to fade or shrink.
mentioned I usually like to get all of the daily tasks out of the way before I move on to anything else, but I wanted to clean the shelf in this window before the sun came up high enough to hit the glass. <laughs> and the morning sun shines through the glass for a few hours each morning, and once the sun starts coming through the glass, the glare makes it harder to clean. So if I don't get the glass clean before the sun starts to shine through the glass, then I have to wait a few hours more before I can clean it. I've had these cyclamen in this window for years and they're supposed to be dormant in the summer and bloom in the winter, but I don't think they've ever stopped blooming and I couldn't explain why because I hardly ever fertilize them and I always forget to water them, but somehow they just keep blooming. I recently bought new shorts to exercise in and the way I fold most of the shorts wasn't working so I had to take a minute to try and find a better way to fold them so that they fit in the drawer better.
There are some clothes that just always seem to crease at the hemline and I don't want to go through all the trouble of ironing my PJs. <laughs> so I just use a wrinkle releaser to straighten out the hem and I just spray it on and straighten out the crease and then I'll set it aside for a minute or two to dry before I fold it up and put it away. I was on a plane to California I had all the time I'd ever need Did you even know I was looking for you? I think that I was hiding in between How long, how long, how long Did you wait for me? How long, how long, how long Did you really need To figure it out? I got in a cab when I first got here Took me to the only place I know Listen to the people that I found there If you ever see her, let me know noticed that we got a new leaf blower and the switch on our old one broke so it was the perfect opportunity to try a cordless blower and we found this one on sale at Costco and it works great and the only drawback is that the battery does add a little extra weight which can be tiring if I use it for long enough but it has a strap which makes it easier to carry around but it's so much easier than having to drag a cord around and I can just grab it and use it and I don't have to wind up a cord and put it away when I'm done and I'll leave a link in the description box if you want more information about this one. I'm gonna let the sun shine <laughs> I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out Gonna let the sun shine I try to clean up out here every week even when we're not able to spend much time out here and there are a few months in the summer when even the nights are too hot to come out here and there are many days in the middle of winter when the weather is just perfect to be outdoors so we're very lucky that we can come out here almost all year round and in the summer I try to clean up early in the morning before it gets too hot and keeping this area cleaned up helps to keep the bugs away and it helps to keep the dirt out of the house so even though it's been too hot back here most days, we like to take advantage on the days when it does cool down and it only takes a few minutes to blow all the dust off the cushions and wipe everything down. But spending time outdoors is just good for the soul, so cleaning up out here every week doesn't really feel like much of a chore. And I will try to fix what has been broken Take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold I will listen to the ocean And let its unsaid words be spoken And I'll let my mind be carried by the waves
We added these lanterns to the patio a few months ago and they help to brighten up the space at night. And I love that they have a timer so that they turn on and off automatically. But I haven't cleaned them since we got them and the glass on the lanterns are covered with water spots from the hose. So I wanted to clean up the glass and I'm just using a damp microfiber cloth to remove the spots and another one to dry them off. And the one problem that I have with these lanterns is that they sit directly on the ground so the concrete can scratch the paint and when the ground gets wet they sit in water which leads to rust so I've been looking for a way to get them off the ground and help them last longer and I thought adding feet to the bottom would work but I also didn't want to add feet that would show so I found these little adhesive pads to protect the paint and allow air to circulate underneath the lanterns. And I have the same water problem with the legs on these tables and the tables sit on top of the outdoor rug so I don't really have to worry about scratching but the rug that they sit on gets wet and the tables wick up water so the wood is constantly expanding and contracting so to keep them out of the water I found these plastic feet and I can nail them into the legs to keep them out of the water and I didn't want to risk splitting the wood when I nailed them into the legs so I had to drill a pilot hole first. And once I nailed in all four glides and set the table upright, <laughs> they were much more noticeable than I'd hoped. But when I started working on the second table, I realized that these furniture glides have a black spacer that's removable. So I took off the spacers before I attached them to the second table and it worked out much better. A cure for the air condition. We found this solar pendant light to hang over the bistro table and my husband mounted the solar panel on top of the patio cover and ran the cord over to the table and we used these cable clamps to attach the wire. The wire runs through the clamp and the screw holds the clamp in place. 
And this pendant light was fine on its own, but we found this wicker shade at Ikea that makes it even better. And the light runs on solar panels so it charges all day and then it stores enough energy to last all night. And it turns on automatically at sunset, so I don't have to worry about turning it on. And if you missed my recent patio makeover, I'll leave a link in the description box for that one. But I'm so happy with how everything turned out. But we did need a little bit more light out here in the evening. And as you'll see a bit later, this light adds a soft glow when it gets dark, and I just love the cozy vibe it rings to the table during the day. A few months ago, I cut back the geraniums in the hanging baskets, and I was a little worried at the time, but they bounced back beautifully. And one of the baskets had a problem with the drip, and it wasn't getting enough water, so it just needs a little time to catch up with the other baskets. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up this cushion set is a recent replacement and I absolutely love them. They are so comfy, but we always sit in the same spot when we come out here. So to help the cushions wear evenly, I need to rotate them every once in a while. Until you save me, until you set me free. My eyes were closed. Now I see clear as day and I just wanted to say that you can take me high. Feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow all the lights on the patio out here are cordless and it's mostly flameless candles and I wish I could remember where I found this hanging candelabra. It's been here almost as long as we've lived here but I did find one similar and I'll be sure to add the link in the description box. But all this additional lighting is nice to have when we're out here in the evenings but it's also nice to have the space lit up so that we can see it from inside the house. I don't need anybody, I don't need anybody else No one will ever take me, no one will ever take me away from you I promise I will That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications before you go. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I hope to see you next time. Without you You can take me high Feels like I can fly